Okay, this is number three. It's a fourth degree polynomial. You know, a whiteboard, and I'm going to do my Descartes rule sign on it, see how I can do, all right? But again, I got some knowledge about fourth degree polynomials. But before I do that, I want to write down f of x. We're looking for roots. I should say we're looking for the nature of the roots. Let's put down a uh, Descartes rule sign. So plus, minus, minus, plus, minus. All right? So I got to count the sign changes. So I see one here. I see one here. I see one here. So what's the S going to be? The S is going to be 3. So what do I know? S minus the number of positive roots. Well, S is 3. So it's going to be 3 minus P. And remember, this needs to equal a non-negative positive integer, all right? So what could P be? P could be 1, or the P could be 3. Now, why is that? 3 minus 1 is 2. That's a non-negative even integer. And 3 minus 3 is 0, and that's a non-negative even integer as well. All right, so I got that covered. And then the, the next question is, you know, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna rotate the curve. All right, I'm gonna rotate it. And by the way, there's many things you could do besides this, including sign analysis, that try to narrow this thing down, all right? Which we may do. Let me rotate the curve. So I'm taking the negative roots, throwing it into positive land. What would you get over here? X4 plus x cubed minus 19x squared minus 49x minus 30. All right, let's put the signs down. Plus, plus, minus, minus, minus. All right, how many sign changes do we get? Only one. So what's s? S minus P, S is 1, minus P equals, remember, it must equal a non-negative even integer. P must be 1. So what does this mean? This means there's one negative root. I know that much. All right, one negative root. So then the problem comes is, you know, what are you going to do about that? Well, we could do some analysis over here. I want to point out what I mean by that. <coughs> I'm just going to say there's one negative root over here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Let's go back over here. I want to go back to the original function, which is over here. And there's a y-intercept over here. hope you can agree with that. What do I know? I know this picture... It's got to look sort of like this over here. I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not saying exactly what it looks like, but it's got to look something like that, all right? Now, someone says, oh, no, it looks like this over here. I'm not saying otherwise. I'm just saying it's got to connect up, right? But I know there's only one root here, and that's a y-intercept. And then what happens? Well, looking at this over here, it could be one or three. Now, th this is, I, I realize it's tough. I mean, if it's one, you know, you might get something like this over here. It's possible. Right? But remember, it could be 3, too. It could go maybe something like this over here. You get the idea. Now, I, I got to be honest with you. You could do more analysis on it. Right? Now, if it's 1, this thing keeps going up. If it's 3, it's got to go back down and hit it again. So these possibilities seem to stand to reason. Right? I'll write this down. So I'm going to put down the possibilities are 1 positive, 1 negative, 2 complex. By the way, the complex would occur in conjugate pair. It could be one positive. I'm sorry, not one positive. Get my race around. It could be three positive and one negative. All right. Now, granted, let me repeat this over here. You could do more analysis about this one over here, particularly sign analysis by just looking at integer points, and it's really not bad to do. 
But here's all we need to really come up with these problems over here, something like this. And you know, bottom line, let's look at the picture, see what the real alternative is. Is it this one or is it this one? Let's look at our picture. And this is picture number Um, number 294, right? Okay. Let me blow it up. Oh, by the way, it's a much better picture. What do I see? I definitely see the one negative root over here. I hope that's plain as day. By the way, what that number is, I'm not really concerned about, but it sure does look like minus 5. I see the y-intercept. What am I seeing over here? 1, 2, 3. Did we get that possibility? We did. One negative, three positive. All right, we're done. Now, of course, what I want to claim to you over here, a lot of times when I say I'm, I'm done, you may not be done. You may have questions or concerns about what I've written down somewhere. Please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.